sixth graders. I know this looks funny, but we're going to be switching to a different tab here soon, so I'm not going to go into the full screen. So our lesson 16 is symmetry in the coordinate plane, and this is going to kind of branch off of when we learned about opposites. So we have a few different things. The first is similarities of coordinates, differences of coordinates, sim excuse me, similarities in location, differences in location, and relationship between coordinates and location on the plane. We're going to look at all of these. Your assignment focuses on the similarities and differences of coordinates, just because that's a little simpler um, for not being in person. So similarities of coordinates could be same y coordinates. <clears throat> x coordinates have the same absolute value. Same x coordinates. Y coordinates have the same absolute value. X coordinates have the same absolute value. Y coordinates have the same absolute value. So it's kind of um, a few different options of how that can work. For your assignment, I focused on same y or x coordinates or the same for both, okay? Differences, um, x coordinates are opposite numbers, y coordinates are opposite numbers, or both x and y are opposite. Similarities in location, both points are four units above the x-axis and three units away from the y-axis. And this is just an example with um, different coordinates of three and four. Um, both points are three units to the right of the y-axis and four units away from the x-axis. Both points are three units from the y-axis and four units from the x-axis. Differences in location. One point is three units to the right. The other is three units to the left of the y-axis. One point is four units above the x-axis. The other is four units below. One point is three units right of the y-axis and the other is three units left. One point is four units above, the other is four units below. And then finally, relationship between coordinates and location. I'm just gonna read the first one. The x coordinates are opposite numbers, so the points lie on opposite sides of the y-axis. Because opposites have the same absolute value, both points lie in the same direction, the same distance from the y-axis. The points lie the same distance above the x-axis, so the points are symmetric about the y-axis. A reflection across the y-axis takes one point to the other. Okay, that was a mouthful. Now let's look at it and see what I just said. So we have four points here. <clears throat> three, four, negative three, four, negative three, negative four, and three, negative four. <clears throat> so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. So we could reflect point A across the x-axis, and it would be symmetrical to point C. We could reflect it across the y-axis, it would be symmetrical to point B. <clears throat> so if we look at our ordered pairs here, we see in A and B, three, the, the x-coordinates are opposites, but the y-coordinates are the same. So that could be um, similarities and then differences. Same with the uh, other two points, C and D. Three, the, the x coordinates are opposites and the y coordinates are the same. So that's kind of what my what your assignment is going to be, just identifying what makes them similar or different. And we'll kind of just actually take a quick peek at it for you. Maybe. There we go. Is it there? I promise it's there. Just so you have an idea. Excuse me. So, long question, which ordered pair shows a similarity of coordinates to three, four with the same y coordinates? So you're going to select the one that has the same y coordinate, which is four. So x comes first, y comes second. So that's the first part. The second part is going to be which option indicates what the following ordered pairs differ from. So what's different? Well, they have different x and y coordinates, okay? Pretty simple. I think you'll do just fine. Um, it's in here somewhere. So please let me know if you have any questions. I know that that was short, but we're going to branch on um, from that tomorrow and then the next day. So complete the animal questions for lesson 16. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful Tuesday.